is here and how is it looking, Sue? George, thanks very much. Well, after the uh, recent mild weather, we've got uh, a couple of chilly days and then it is looking more unsettled as we head towards the end of the week. So if we take a look at the map then, this afternoon, cloudier in the east, but some breaks in the cloud, the best of the brightness in the west, thanks to those easterly winds and top temperatures, five to seven Celsius. Now tonight, staying dry with cloud breaking and then with clearing skies and light winds overnight, it will turn cold colder mist and fog patches a widespread frost inland with temperatures hovering around freezing not quite as cold along the coast tomorrow then early frost fog and mist patches but they'll clear to leave an improving day some patchy cloud but then more in the way of sunshine through tomorrow still feeling chilly though highs between around five celsius in wrexham and seven in pembrokeshire feeling cold for the winter solstice tomorrow but then we start to see a change midweek. We lose the high pressure, allowing a more unsettled Atlantic theme with the weather fronts pushing in from the west. So Wednesday will start off dry, but turning increasingly cloudy with spells of rain moving in, not quite as chilly on Wednesday. And then Thursday looks often cloudy with some bright spells, but much milder on Thursday. Temperatures back into double figures across Wales. And now, later in the week, things are changing. Now, there was talk of much colder air and the potential for snow over Christmas. But now it looks like the battle between these two air masses, the cold air, looks like that is more likely to be across the far north and east of the UK. So we're likely to be in the milder air. So we're likely to see a greyer, wetter Christmas than a white one. George. OK, Sue, thank you very much. Uh, Nick Savini will have the headlines in Wales today at 6.30. Until then, from me and everyone on the Lunchtime team here, do have...